Hey guys, today we're working on the Blue Behemoth, the hammerhead, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to be taking off the, the drive cover, the air filter, assembly, and the carburetor. So stay tuned for that. Also, I have Jorge here with me. Okay guys, to, today we're going to start with taking off the air box, this whole assembly right here, all of it. What we're going to start by is uh, taking off this bolt right here. There should be one right over here, but it's not there. There's a nut right here. And then there's one down here, this top one. And then, uh, I think that's all. But it should be pretty self-explanatory, you know. And I'll get back to y'all whenever that is off. So, we took off the, the air filter connector that goes to the carburetor and also the air box. Hori's gonna open it up and take a look inside of it and see if we need to change the air filter and the, I guess the oil filter, I don't know what that is gonna be. Um, but this was really dirty, cleaned it off with a little bit of brake clean and we're gonna get back at it and take off the primary cover next because the carburetor looks very complicated with all the vacuum lines. I'm going to take a, a lot of pictures before I decide to take it off. Okay. Okay, guys. So, you can see my hand. I just, I cleaned out this. Well, I didn't clean this part of the crankcase. But here's the, the clutch or the variator. And here's the clutch with the clutch uh, bell. And you can see how loose the chain is back there. But, um, the belt seems to be in good condition. Teeth are okay. Like it has been written in a while. You can see this part was uh, when it was butted up against the inside of these sheaths. Um, this will be okay. It just looks like it got really hot. The gasket is perfect. Still intact. Um, I used some brake clean to clean out the inside of this and I cleaned out the breathers with water and then I tried to brake clean the inside of the uh, or the outside of it and uh, a whole bunch of paint came off turns out the quality control isn't the best in China who would have known but I also took off the air filter and uh, opened it up here's the air filter there it is I'm gonna shoot some soap and water and through this just to get it clean for now I'm gonna order a new one uh, here's the inside of the air filter box that's where the oil collection is there's the filter for the oil collection there's some oil drainage another oil drainage and there's the cover so I mean it's all there but um, we're gonna have to replace this filter and that filter and this will be fine I just I need to put some paint on the cover and then I think we'll be good in this area um, I guess the the next thing, the most obvious thing to check would be the um, the carburetor. I'm not going to get to that today, but um, looking inside it, it's going to need a cleaning. Just from looking at this part right here, not sure if you can see, but but it's very dirty and it's, the diaphragm doesn't even want to come down because of how clogged it is. Coming down very slowly, as you can see. Yeah, so it's gonna need a clean. I'm pretty sure the bowl is all gummed up. I might even need a new carburetor if the cleaning doesn't work. But we will see about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the diaphragm works perfectly fine. Or if it doesn't, then I guess I'll get a new one. I'm not gonna even mess with rebuild kits. I'm just gonna get a brand new carburetor. Just know everything works. I might end up, uh, after I get it running, I might end up ditching the, the old air filter system and just putting a, a uni air filter coming straight out and right here. And of course I have no seats, so that's not really a big deal. So yeah, I'm just gonna be um I'm, I'm just gonna clean up the air filter with some soap and water and the air filter housing. I'm gonna bolt everything back together, but I'm gonna leave the well, actually, I'm going to bolt everything back together because I'm probably not going to get to the carburetor until a while. 
So, yeah. I mean, this is a good little go-kart uh, from what I see. It did not have very much use. It just wasn't serviced. Um, the belt, I mean, the crank, or not the crank, it's the primary drive cover. It probably just from use, and I mean, the air filter, I got it out from East Texas, so that makes sense why it'd be really dusty and really messed up, along with all the dirt along the engine. And I mean, they let this sit for a while, so it makes sense that the carburetor would be gummed up. And I mean, I guess that's it. Um, thanks guys for watching this video. I mean, there's gonna be more to come about this uh, go-kart. It's not just a one and done. I'm going to take you through every single upgrade. If you have any comments, let me know what I should do. Any suggestions, just go ahead and let me know. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you want to see more content like uh, like this, breaking down the old hammerhead, then just uh, go ahead and hit it up with a subscribe. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys later.